Good evening and welcome to our evening prayer this evening. I've been with two families today. One, we were talking about uh, their grandparent, grandmother, um, elderly, had lived a very full life and over these last months uh, they had been expecting her death and therefore in a sense uh, it was a gentle uh, moment for them. Another family for whom uh, the loss of their son, Karim Saridar, uh, a brother, uh, a husband, a father, dying much too young in sudden and tragic circumstances. And of course, part of the tragedy is the, the real shock that that brings when your life is suddenly turned upside down and when you find yourself, as they are, needing that support of the community of prayer and this evening we keep them very much in our prayers. As we come uh, to these evening prayer we are as always inspired by Mary. We're told that she pondered all these things in her heart. At the time of which uh, it was written of her, it was very early uh, in the life of her son but of course she was to witness, as we'll recall during Lent, and particularly on Good Friday, which seems very soon this year, that she too witnessed uh, their great tragedy. And therefore, she must surely understand how it feels and therefore offer uh, her comfort uh, and her support. As we recall that moment the angel came to her, we recall uh, that faithful response. Like her, we pray that we may each put our trust in God. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Before we end our day, O Lord, we make this prayer to you, that you continue in your love to guide your people here. Give us this night untroubled rest, and build our strength anew, your splendour driving far away, all darkness of the foe. Our hearts desire to love you, Lord, watch over while we sleep, that when the new day dawns on high, we may your praises sing. All glory be to you, O Christ, who saved mankind from death, to share with you the Father's love, and in the Spirit live. You cannot serve both God and wealth. Hear this, all you peoples. Give heed all who dwell in the world, men both low and high, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom, 
My heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to a parable. With the harp I will solve my problem. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foes who surround me, men who trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches? For no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to God for his life. The ransom of his soul is beyond him. He cannot buy life without end, nor avoid coming to the grave. He knows that wise men and fools must both perish and leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling place from age to age, though their names spread wide through the land. In his riches, man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You cannot serve both God and wealth. Store up treasure for yourselves in heaven, says the Lord. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their beck and call. Like sheep, they are driven to the grave, where death shall be their shepherd, and the just will become their rulers. With the morning, their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their home. But God will ransom me from death and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. Though he flattered himself when he lived, men will praise me for all my success, yet he will go to join to his fathers and who will never see the light any more. In his riches man lacks wisdom, he is like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Store up treasure for yourselves in heaven, says the Lord. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive glory and honour. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power, for you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Worthy are you, O Lord, to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain. And by your blood you ransomed men for God from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. And you have made us a kingdom and priests to our God, and we shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honour and glory and blessing. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive glory and honour. Reading from the letter to the Romans. All have sinned and forfeited God's glory, And all are justified through the free gift of his grace by being redeemed in Christ Jesus, who was appointed by God to sacrifice his life so as to win reconciliation through faith. You will give me the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. I will find happiness at your right hand forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Do great things for us, O Lord, for we are mighty and holy is your name. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. 
He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Do great things for us, O Lord, for you are mighty and holy is your name. Christ is the shepherd of his flock. He loves and cares for his people. We turn to him in trust and say, Lord, we need your care. Christ our Lord, you are the pastor of all the ages. Protect our Bishop Richard and all the pastors of your church. Be with those who are persecuted for their faith and those cut off from the support of the church. Good shepherd, in their pain and isolation, may they know your care. Bring healing to the sick. Give nourishment to the hungry. We remember those who make our laws and those who apply them. Lord, give them wisdom and discernment. Gather the flock for which you've laid down your life. Bring home to their father's house all who have died in your peace. We pray for all who have died in your peace. We pray for Karen, for the family's grandmother, and for Lady who will visit in a few moments uh, in the hospital to offer comfort and support to them. Margaret asks that you might pray for William Hargrove. Uh, 16-year-olds and diagnosed with a brain tumour and who now has meningitis. Deidre asks we offer a prayer of thanksgiving uh, for David's successful operation which took place last Wednesday. Liz and Ray ask we might offer a prayer for Peter receiving a blood transfusion today and for his family. We continue our prayers for those who have died and as the families prepare for their funeral. For Derek Jones, for John Dunn, for Kavota Gundu, well, we had the, the meeting we had today of the priests of the deanery. We pray. Uh, for uh, our parishes, our parish to be, and for our diocese. May all the people of our diocese grow in openness to the power of the Holy Spirit, so that through a growth in understanding and courage, and truly open to your call, we may bear powerful witness to all around us, for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen.
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Yours is the day and yours is the night, Lord God. Let the sun of justice shine so steadily in our hearts that we may come at length to that light where you dwell eternally. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you for your prayers uh, this evening. I know there will be many who are joining this evening to be with the Saradar family in prayer. Uh, you may wish to know that the 11 o'clock Mass tomorrow at uh, St. Edward's will be celebrated for the repose of the soul uh, of Karam. Um, prayers too for his family and friends. So we reflect that the Lord is often nearer than we realise. Uh, we pray that he may grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Pius, pray for us. St. Edward, pray for us.